Very seriously, this is going to be so much. Cutting in. 
taking almost three defenders out. And it's on you. Oh, Razak. Razak in the box. Razak in the box. Razak. Blocked. It's going to be a Nigerian point. Very entertaining match so far. Inviting the press, let's see if they can get out of it. They do. But no one is pressing on the Nigerian defense. The Nigerian press. Concentrating play on that right wing. Yeah, this goes out. Wins it for us. A good. And if they take the ball to that area that has no chance. Yeah. Good 
Nigeria is gonna play with a clock as much as possible. They have already qualified. So the pressure is on Cote d'Ivoire. As I said before, they prefer to, to play their talisman on the wing instead of playing him in the central area. The guy that got all the goals for them last year and having eventually won the golden boots this good ball from Raza dangerous ball in and goes down for a penalty the referee says no very few people up front here for for, for Cote d'Ivoire almost the action being concentrated in Cote d'Ivoire's half and nothing really on Nigerians' half. Nigeria opening the, the wings really wide. It seems to have uh, a four-man defense with a CDM in between them. That either being Sunny Abutu or Rimi Paul. And shifting to either side where the play is moving. Francis on the ball, very, very comfortable on the ball, with no pressure whatsoever on him. And in the middle, Nigeria moving the ball quite well. And that could be a handball, yet not making it to the one. Cote d'Ivoire on the ball, moving up, ball, good ball in, and it's oh no! How could he miss that? Good play from Mo. Then to the right wing of there. Unfortunately, as I said before, and I will repeat it again, I think if it would have been Frank Kumar, it would have been a goal. We would be speaking different story now. But, I mean, he's already preferred to play on the left wing other than in the central area. But that's all coach's decision, right? Dangerous ball, anxious moment for Cote d'Ivoire, Remy. Clearance executed, but not quite. Off oh, the field, not wrong. Outside there, Razak, Rap. Good ball in. Out of play. Good break by the number nine there. 
but looks like he's only he fights one more. Slowly and slowly, Kotoko are building confidence, now moving forward, and it's Frank. It's going to be an infringement just outside the box. It's a free kick right at the edge of the box here. Frank Kumar. Good ball in. Oh. And it's out of play. Chances. And what I've made is Yama Sucro, the capital city, Yama Sucro, very happy. to the right to me and traveling the defense of the right is outside. Uh, Nigeria seems to have switched uh, Abdul to Andrew. So Andrew on the left side and Abdul on the right side. Seems to be working. Dennis. 
Good ball in, the striker has it, can he do it this time? No! Quite unfortunate, I think the, the quarter boys would need a more experienced striker if they're going to get something out of this. I told you before, Yomo Sikro would have been on their feet if that would have been a goal. Touches from the Port of Orient and surrendering the ball to the Nigerians at half and very clinically done quickly and it's 1-0 in favor of Nigeria. 30 minutes played, 1-0.
leaving a lot of space for the Nigerians to operate not feeling them at all look at that space look at that no pressure at all good ball into Abdul Abdul looking for the town looking for the town here give it to Baturani Rimi Rauf Abdul Rimi Oh, it should have been a play. It should have been an advantage later, but the referee chooses to. Blow his whistle, and it's a go down. the big names in African football obviously having produced people like Didier Drogba, Didier Zakora and many others struggling here against the Nigerian Super Eagles. Gonna keep in. Good clearance.
Nigerian defense choosing to play safe. giving Nigeria the advantage, it's going to be Razak of all. Razak! The goalkeeper saves the day. Good clearance, only two Nigerians left. Abutu, is he going to take the shot? No, he prefers to play out. And is he going to bring it in? Yes, he does. Nigeria dominating and winning all the second balls here. It's going to be a Nigerian throw in. Uniform. Nothing to worry for the Nigerian defense. Opening it wide. Dennis. Play all all the orange shots behind the ball. Ladies and gentlemen, is the elephants against the mighty super eagles here at the Rough Contact World. It's the Canada Africa Cup of Nations 2023 edition. The defending champions, the mighty super eagles against the elephants. to make something out of it. Uma playing too wide the talisman. Very hard to cut in and make something out of anything here really because most of the players are anyway playing under the half and only moving forward just for a counter attack. Uma now number seven looking to make something out of his free kick with only five minutes left in the first half. And it's in the good rolling but nothing to take out the goalkeeper. Francis. And 
taking a little bit of time and I say that Nigeria will try and take as many minutes off the clock for this one because it's nothing for them to lose. No pressure at all for them. They have already qualified. It's pressure on Portugal. Cedric winning the ball but couldn't get it to go back there. Very entertaining match. And if the scores stay like this, then it's Nigeria who have qualified and Eritrea. If they can get a draw, it's still Eritrea. Unless they can get a win out of this. Cote d'Ivoire must win. And that is why I wonder why they want to sit back and and it's Umar now. Umar! And it's... Oh no! Very, very clinical finish there. And lucky for Umar. He should have been doing that from the first minute of the game. If they want to get something out of this. I mean, they still have 45 minutes to play in the second half. And the referee, or rather the coach, may have read into that and maybe make more changes into the attacking lineup and how they move forward. They have caught Nigeria several times, nothing, but they haven't been able to make something out of their shots. It's Mohamed moving forward. Good combination, no communication. Nigeria harnesses on that and gives the ball back. It's, it's, it's one attacker against four defenders. What can they say? Nigeria moving the ball systematically on the right wing, looking for Abdul, and Abdul gets through, brings the ball in, oh no, not for Nigeria, it's going to be a goal kick, 43 minutes played, there hasn't been a lot of stoppage time in this one, so the referee may just blow it off at 45 minutes. We still have two minutes to play, or at least one and a half minutes to play. It's one nil Nigeria. With 45 minutes to play in the second half. What can they do? Inviting the press. Can they keep this one? Oh, it was a flick there, and they got back. They got the ball back from the press, and it's Ralph Abdu. And it's Raza. Raza fighting for it, but overpowered by the defender. Good clearance, but no one is at hand for Cote They have very, very big space to play with no press. Systematically moving the ball through the midfield now. Won by Mohamed. Mohamed! Lack of communication there. Mohamed was moving quickly, but someone took the ball off. Changing that, trying to look for Razak and Dennis on the left wing. Good ball, and as I say, nobody is in there. It's not gonna work. No matter how many balls you set in there, you gotta have man in front for the ball. I do too. On the left side. I do too. Now to back. Really trying to get through from the middle. And it's 45 minutes. 45 minutes play. It's half time. Nigeria 1, Cote d'Ivoire 0. If this is the scoreline, then Cote d'Ivoire will be bowing out of the competition tonight. And Nigeria will be advancing and on the way for the second match between Cameroon and Eritrea to know who will be the second qualifier in this group. As we take a break, we'll see you in the second half.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Play having resumed just a minute ago. Let's see if Cote d'Ivoire will be able to redeem themselves from this one goal deficit. This will be a one goal for them to get at least three points. Looking like they have uh, sacrificed all that time. Very good, very good. Oh, another winner. Bringing all sorts of problems in their attacking herd. Winning a corner in the second minute of the second half. Andrew trying to get it in here. It's going to be the Kofi Gwaba. Goki. Very poor clearance from the goalkeeper. Land him into Nigerian's legs. Inviting the press and Nigeria winning the press. Good touch on the ball. This is a dangerous ball in corner. Oh, the ball is still in. And for the last three minutes, it's been Nigeria in the court of wars. Penalty box. Foul to Nigeria. Well, it's interesting to see Cote d'Ivoire and how much and what they can do in this one. Looking like they have all they need in terms of good and quality players. Just not being able to complete that puzzle on who plays where to be able to get the, the best combination of the team. Deciding to defend all the, 45, the first 45 minutes, and I guess that's the strategy for the second 45. And if they're gonna be defending the whole time, I can assure you they will crack at some point. Into 
by Jalen Kness. It's going to be for the blood point. Good ball in. Can they make something out of it? What a work on The winger having injected quite a little bit of pace on that wing. Having sacrificed Ramar for the winger. Obviously, keeping the striker. Good ball in. Forty Brown claiming for a corner there, but what he says no. Cut off by Cedric. We threw ball, but it's offside. That's going to be a yellow card from the referee. We should have known that better. He's asking the referee why the yellow card. Definitely, you never touch the ball after the whistle. That is the reason for the yellow card. Because the referee is in control. He whistles, everything stops. control that one and draws out of play. It's gonna be a goal kick. It's because this is missing out of the Cote d'Ivoire lineup here like Jacob Gabar missing in the defensive lineup. And now obviously Frank Uma will be missing maybe for the Better half of the second half, they might want to bring him back after some time, but maybe not. I don't know. As I say, it's the coach's position, and also, he knows why. I don't know why. I look at the game from an analysis point of view, he looks at the game from another angle. Cote d'Ivoire moving very well on the right wing. It's Cote d'Ivoire's ball. Argentina. Cote d'Ivoire bringing in a sense of urgency into the game. Obviously wanting the three point, but they have to recover from the deficit. And can see what we do more. They are very aggressive with Kula, as also they sacrificed on the, the lineup. In the second half. <laughs> 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 and Eden and a lot of you know, space for the Nigerians to play in the middle. Obviously, more would have won those balls. Easily because of its strength and the aggression. Now aggression right in the midfield. Cedric hanging on to Razak's shot and gets penalized for that. Nigeria on the attack. Nigeria on the attack. Nigeria on the attack. Is it going to be a goal? Yes, it is. It's 2 0. It's 2 0, ladies and gentlemen. It's 
just as I was talking about more, Mohammed was the man that was cutting out those balls in the midfield in the first half. He looks to be missing now. And then also Frank Omar is missing. Uh, quite a tactical position, but also a tactical blunder to get those two out. Nigeria having a lot of running space now in the midfield, obviously having pulled out the aggressive midfield that was in the past half, cutting out all balls, now having so much running space. I believe the coach may want to restructure to that, but it's definitely up to the tactical team to do that. Very interestingly cut out. Good movement of the ball. But if you look at the if you look at the lineup and how they are organized, you find three defenders all the time or not even pressed you know as much as they can bring the balls it doesn't resolve into anything because there's no one in there that's what i'm talking about really behind it there's three balls especially against the Super Eagles. Striker, good shot. Corner. A lot of discussions there. Good ball in. Taken out by Francis. And Nigeria on the counter attack. Cut out. Very comfortable on the ball. We obviously need to Good ball in and Abdul is with it but the flag goes out. 
doesn't look like any team is warming up any substitution at all. Any team. Cordoba building up. Long ball brings it in. Good shot. Out of play. Out of play for a growing goal. The referee seems to be saying something different. The, the linesman seems to be saying it's going. Yes, it's going. And good ball in. It was a good cut back. Disappointment to the elephants. Quite unlucky with that one. Bringing in a little bit of sense of urgency here. And any time, I would say they have had men up with them. They have taken the nitro into their hands, but not many of them. So, as many of them are up front as they shoot up. Nigerian's defense is always sort of in, in the box. Pushing more men up front. That should have happened in the first half. Pushing everyone in front now. And it's like everything or nothing. Good corner kick in. Good ball in. Go kick. Hey, 
Five minutes played of the regulation time.
to go ahead the ball and to the right wing. Good ball in. Nothing to the top of the ball. to get two goals back and at least get a winner. Good ball into a goal. Keeper saves the day. There will be changes into the Nigerian team. And number 99 has been sacrificed. And coming on to be the right one is with the right team is number 21. Long ball. Good ball in. The striker has the ball with a lot of space. That's why we've been all talking about Frank Kuma. On the other side, I can see Eritrea on the warm up field and Cameroon on the second pitch. This game will be the decider. Those two will decide who qualifies for the next round. If Eritrea can win or can draw, they are qualified. If Cameroon, for them, it's a must win. If they do win, then they will qualify. If this, starts, if, if this stays like this to the end, then Cote d'Ivoire will have bowed out of the competition. Very clever touch. Abdul, Abdul, dangerous ball in, and it's in, it's 3-0. Today is your day, Nigeria. It's three goals, Nigeria, against the elephants. Yamu Sukra is disappointed tonight. Substitutes coming on. Looks like the referee is waiting to restart play after they come in. And Nigeria as well. More has come back. At least to close that gap in the midfield that there is. I wonder if we are going to see Frank back. About 15 minutes to play.
every coach has those moments where you actually don't know what to do. Tactical decisions. As I said before, Nigeria seems to be having fun with this one. Some pulling and tugging there. Shot blocked. Abdul again on the ball. Same place. Not a very good shot this time from Rini. you play out from the back but at this time you actually need more you don't need more of that you need to move the ball as far up as you can inviting the press from Nigeria will not do very well at this moment at this minute of the game and obviously Nigeria being the powerhouse and midfield as far as this match is concerned. So most of the time when they start off the box, they end up losing the ball. And it's like a bouncing wall. You start and you start the ball. start there if they're already parading themselves to press but this time the goalkeeper tries a different strategy nevertheless it goes to Nigeria they still win the second ball it's an infringement there in, my, in Nigeria quick started quickly started the referee says no nope, you gotta take it back Good ball to the right wing for Nigeria, won by Cote d'Ivoire. They couldn't keep it. Nigeria has the ball in the midfield, really tall. Andrew, this process, using his power, good shot, deflected, but into the goalkeeper's hands. Starts in the box again, but the defender clever to take it out. Good battle there. Pressure on the Nigerian defense and they lose the ball. Long throwing, and it's going to be a free kick just outside the 18. Port of War will take the free kick. Ten minutes to play, three goals down. And they get at least one back. It's
floating ball. Back up for Looking to get at least a goal back. In Africa, they say at least a goal to wipe their tears. Another change in Cote d'Ivoire. in the midfield yeah, come now. and at this point Nigeria just playing the fun good tennis run can he get it oh he hits the woodwork quite unlucky for Dennis the flag goes up it's an offside Interesting match here at the Lapkan Tapio. Mohamed moves the ball and gives a wonderful through pass. The goalkeeper looks like he's taking a knock from the striker there, but he's up on his feet. Dennis again, can he do it this time? Cut out. Abdul 
into the midfield. Stolen by Portugal. Abdul, dangerous ball, cut out by Cote Two minutes and a half left on the regulation time clock. Every other minute after that will be referees added on time. It's a corner. A little bit of pulling and tagging around the, the goalkeeper. Now to our twin, cut out by the defense, Mohamed moving the ball up. Long ball onto the striker. He managed to get past his marker. It's going to be a code of a code of what line. The striker, Cote d'Ivoire striker, bringing quite a bit of a game here. Very explosive on his speed, but lacking in experience. Many times he's passed out, but nothing to make out of it. And it's Rafa Abdul, quick on the ball, very tactical. Mohammed takes it off, and that's what we needed Mohammed for. I guess the coach finally realized that we are in There you go. Good ball in. Swing. Oh. Very, very unlucky, the elephant. to the last seconds of the regulation time and we have just been we've come to the 90 every minute from now on is gonna be added on time and it's Razak Razak trying to
this point Nigeria obviously advancing into the next stage and we will await the outcome of the next match we have a Ladies and gentlemen, it's Nigeria. Four and Cote zero. The scoreline has already spoken for itself. So the defending champions, Nigeria, will be moving on to the quarterfinals, having topped the group.